Hi there. Ben Dessen is an absolute encyclopedia when it comes to all things reptile. He's been breeding snakes since he was just six years old. Now he's going to share his tips on how to keep a pet snake. An adult snake such as this one down here uh, only needs one food item, which is an appropriately sized rat, once every two to three weeks. So, you know, you don't go through a lot of food, they're really cost efficient, they don't take up a lot of space. Who wouldn't want to keep a snake as a pet? So if you're planning on keeping a, a pet snake at home, there's a few key elements that you have to be prepared to set up um, at home to make sure that the, the snake is going to be looked after correctly. So first of all, you're going to need an enclosure. Um, this one here is a, a pretty typical uh, python enclosure. It's about four foot or 120 centimetres long, um, which is a good size for you know one or two smaller species of python. You can see the snake's actually coming out now to say hello, sticking his little head out of his burrow. Um, a hide like that is also important because snakes need to feel secure. They need a, an area that's nice and dark that they can sort of retreat to um, so that they feel safe from predators. A bit of ventilation is important as well. Um, down this end I've also got a water bowl. Um, that's important not only for them to soak in and have a bit of a drink, not that snakes drink a lot, uh, but it's also important for humidity because they do need that moisture in the air uh, which helps them when they're, they're shedding their skin. At this end of the tank, up here we've got a, a heat lamp, that's an infrared globe, um, that's about 75 watts and that keeps this end of the tank at about 31 to 32 degrees. Um, so we've got a hot end and then down this end is the cold end and that's usually between 22 and 24 degrees. Um, so basically that snake can move up and down his enclosure as he wants to, to regulate his body temperature. So you can see at the top here we've got this, this fluorescent globe or this fluorescent tube, that's their UV lighting. Now UV is not as critical for pythons as it is for other reptiles but it's always good to give it to them because um, it, it, it does have many positive benefits and basically that's sunlight um, and they use that for you know, calcium synth synthesis and it also brings out the colour a lot more in your, your reptile as well. Uh, now I'm going to do a bit of a feeding demonstration for you. Um, this is a big diamond python down here, she's about six foot long, um, so she is eating a rat. So this is a full-sized adult rat, um, these are commercially bred specifically for snake food. So these days you can go to your local pet shop and you can often buy a packet of rats um, and you can defrost one at a time, such as this, to, to feed to your snake. I'm going to put this, the rat up to his, his face and you watch his tongue, it's flicking out fairly constantly at the moment. When he gets a, a scent or a whiff of this rat, that tongue's gonna start to go a lot quicker because he's trying to get a lot more of that scent in to see you know, where's this, this food item. They are attracted to movement, they don't have great eyesight. He's gonna smell it, you can see he's getting ready, he's going back into the, the striking position. Tongue's flicking out a lot more, he's got the scent of it. Any second he's gonna strike, grab it like that, usually shake it a little bit so that he thinks it's alive and then you let go. Once they know it's dead, he'll start usually at the, the head of the, the rat and then swallow it whole in one big, one big hit. So it's fascinating to watch them eat. I love to hear your feedback, so don't forget to leave your comments, like, share and subscribe. Until next time. Yeah.